Okay, so the sign of Revelation 12 occurred in 686, right here. And the second sign of Revelation 12 also occurred that year too because it's the Draconid meteor shower, which always occurs in October. Um, which in 686 was after the sign occurred on September 24th. So the first two signs happened in 686. We'll put that on here. And then we're told the first segment of the bride escapes for 1260 years right here. And right after this abomination of desolation and the sign of Revelation 12, right here in 685 and 686 CE, there was a 1260 year period until the Nazis were overthrown in 1945. So this may be when the first segment of the bride, quote unquote, escaped into the wilderness. Um, and that 1945 was also the same year the United Nations was established, which voted in 1947 to send the Jewish refugees from Nazi Germany back to Jerusalem and then in turn established the country of Israel, which of course sparked more conflict. But the point is, this does match the first part of the timeline laid out in Revelation 12. And next it says there was war in heaven right here and the dragon was cast to the earth. It doesn't say exactly when the dragon was cast out, but it very likely occurred at the end of that 1260 year period or sometime around there right here in 1945. And there was a salvation at that time. So it says salvation happens at that time. Well, the salvation of those held in the concentration camps in Germany happened at that time. But 1947 is also known not only for the start of the establishment of the country of Israel, but it's also known for the UFO crash at Roswell, New Mexico. So I'm sure the whole Roswell thing is probably just a myth, but I, I mean, what if it's not? I, I just think it's... I don't think it's a, I, I'll just say this, I don't think it's a coincidence that the Bible itself is telling us that those who oppose the good Lord will be cast to the earth and persecute the bride for a short time. And these events are lining up exactly with the timeline given in the Bible. I just, I don't think that's a coincidence. In fact, it goes even deeper than that here because the book of Daniel gives an even more explicit explanation of what will happen and we talk about this in the video Daniel 9 fulfilled in 2009 it's linked below but we're told from the commandment to restore until Messiah will be 7 plus 7 and 62 Shavuot which happened here after the 1947 restoration quote unquote so if you haven't watched that video on Daniel 9, um, please, please do because it's, it's very deep um, and it's linked below. But, but this did happen. And um, Messiah was the code word for Obama, apparently. I mean, that's, that's what it seems to, to be saying because this did happen exactly the way it was written. And then it says, after the 62 Shavuot shall Messiah cut a covenant and confirm that covenant for seven years, right here in blue. And that was actually why Obama won the Peace Prize in 2009, the first year of his presidency. The Nobel Committee said he won it for confirming and promoting the United Nations Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. So his confirmation of that last the duration of his presidency which will end in 2016 seven years after the peace prize award for his treaty confirmation so that's exactly what daniel 9 says and then daniel says in the midst of that seven year period the passover and the tribute will cease right here 
So again, all that is covered in the other video. So right there in the midst of that seven year period, the Passover and the tribute will cease. And we talk about that. We talk about what that, how that ties in with New York City. Um, and also after those 62 Shavuot, it says the people of the prince that shall come will destroy the city and the end thereof shall be with a flood. So sometime after the 62 Shavuot, right here, the people of the prince that will come are going to destroy the city in the hallowed thing. But it doesn't say exactly when. It just says sometime, sometime after the 62 Shavuot. But it says the end will be with a flood. But it's not clear whether the end refers to the end of the city. It, it sounds like it's talking about the end of the city. The end thereof shall be with a flood. It shall destroy the city and the hallowed thing and the end of that. So the end of the city will be with a flood. But there's also the possibility that it's talking about the end of the war because right after that it says, and until the end of the war, desolations are determined. So it could mean that the flood will occur along with the desolation of the city starting that war. So this destruction of the city along with a flood starts a war. That could be what it's saying. Or it could be saying the city is destroyed, a war starts, and the flood happens at the end of the war. So it could be saying either one. The people of the prince that will come will destroy the city and the hallowed thing, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And until the end of the war, desolations are determined. So the desolation of the city is in the midst of the seven years. Right here. And that appears to start a war right here. And there's a flood either at the start or the end of that war. It's not clear right here. So this indicates that sometime between now and 2016, the start of a war and a, the flood event, which we've talked about before, seems to be the, the tsunami event. So the start of a war and the flood event, either at the start of that war or at the end of it. Okay, and then in Daniel 12, 11 and Daniel 12, 12, that was also fulfilled recently so we add that to our timeline the 1290 days and the 1335 days occurred right here in 2012 so again we don't have time to go into the details in this video but if you want to hear the proof for this you can watch the videos called Daniel 9 fulfilled in 2009 and Daniel 12 fulfilled in 2012 both of them are linked in the description below this video um, but the point is we have ample evidence that we're coming down to the wire right now. The return of the Lord basically and the rapture, the escape from the serpent and that asteroid impact. So when we combine the recent events here that are described in Daniel 9 and Daniel 12 with the former events of Daniel 12, here, we see that the two timelines fit together perfectly. Okay, but does it tell us when the second segment of the bride will escape? Right here. Well, no, but it gives us clues. It says that the dragon goes to war with the remnant after the bride escapes so that may be a reference to the war mentioned in Daniel 9 that it says will occur in the midst of the seven years so that may be 
that may refer to the timing of the escape right here. Because the dragon goes to war after the woman escapes. And we know that war starts in the midst of the week. So that may refer also to the escape during this time. And um, we're also told that the bride is being persecuted after the dragon falls to earth but the remnant aren't persecuted until the war after the bride escapes so when we look at our events if 1947 did represent the dragon's fall to the to earth like that roswell incident or something um then that means the bride is being persecuted now, which I can tell you is in is happening. It is happening now. Um, but not everybody is aware of that. The remnant are not aware of it because they're not going through persecution yet. But the persecution is happening already. Um, so that, that does make sense, at least to me. Um, and it says that those that are left behind after the bride escape, bride's escape will start, will be persecuted at the start of the war which Daniel appears to say will start before the seven years are over. So the timeline is, is it, it does, it is making sense so far. Um, okay, so let's get back to the timing of the asteroid impact now. In Daniel 2, it tells us the stone will hit the image of the image of a human. The, the, the image, it talks about this image. Um, and it's, it's in the shape of a human. And it tells us that the stone will hit the feet of that image. So we talked about this a lot. It's in the video called The Dragon, the Beast, and the Harem, which is linked below. It's explained in detail, but this image right here represents our history beginning with the Neo-Babylonian Empire. So Daniel explains that in detail. And the feet right here represent the time period we're in now, right here. So that's a rough estimate. Sometime during the reign of the United Nations, which is the most recent phase of the beast, is when the asteroid will hit. So again, that's explained in the Dragon, the Beast, and the Harem. It goes into detail on that. But we can also narrow it down even further than that. I mean, basic, so basically we know, okay, the asteroid's going to hit during our time, sometime during the, the reign of the United Nations, the World Empire. But when exactly? Well, in Matthew 24, it says... When you start seeing all these things happen, one generation will not pass until everything is fulfilled. And in Daniel 9, it says it will be 70 Shabuah until the prophecy ends. So we've talked about the 70 Shabuah. It can mean 70 Shavuot, which would end in 2017. But we know that's not it because the escape has to occur 1260 days before that, and it didn't. But the 70 Shabuah can also mean 70 times 7. And we know it's not that because that's longer than a generation. It's 490 years. All right, I'm going to stop here and start the next part. You can click on the link below.